Hi YouTube, it's Lanisha. So this is clearly not my hair. <laughs> um, it's a wig that I made using Premium 2 by Sensational. I believe it's the Yaki texture and I will put a link below of the kind of hair that I got. I don't have the label anymore for the hair, but I am 99% sure that this that is the type of hair that I had. I remember because there's a the girl, the model that's on the cover, she actually went to high school with me. <laughs> so I see her a lot in the beauty supply store on lots of different weaves. <laughs> so anyways, I um, got this hair about a few months ago and I wanted a bob-esque length. So um, I decided that I was gonna go with this and it's in like a color number two, I would say. Um, but again, I'll put the exact hair that I got down below. It was less than $10 a pack. I got two packs and I didn't use all of the second pack. I probably used um, half of that pack to make this. This is just on a regular spandex cap, nothing special. I just got that because it was cheaper than getting a dome cap. I do use the dome caps like a wave cap if I'm going to use some um, like sew in the hair or use like a glue gun to make my wig. But for something like this, I use regular weave glue and I really, really like this hair. I think that the luster is pretty natural. I mean, my lighting in in my bathroom is not the best. I only have one little light over here. <laughs> but the luster is, is not too, too shiny, which I really love. And, um, you know, for $10 or less a pack, I think that this hair is really, really nice. Because it doesn't shed very much, which I was really surprised by. I've had other, you know cheaper beauty supply store hairs and I made wigs out of them and the hair shed so bad. There was one that was like I think five dollars a pack that I got online. That hair was so bad like I did not even like I made a wig out of it but I, ref I didn't even wear the thing like at all because the hair it just shed so badly. <laughs> And, you know, what can you expect for hair that's only five bucks? But <laughs> I looked at reviews before I got the hair. And the girl that I watched a view of, I mean, her hair looked great. So I was like, all right, I'm going to try this. It's only $5. What can I lose? I didn't even get to wear that thing. So, yeah. So I bought this. Um, and I really like it. It curls really well. These curls are actually mostly old curls that I've had. Like, I once I if I'm not wearing the wig, I just put it away. Or I put it on my wig head. But, um... I did, I tried to put some in, but I got real lazy, so. But yeah, it curls, as you can see, it's a little flip back that I've done. Um, I also used a curling wand in it, on it, and it worked really well. So you can definitely curl the hair. It's not all the way a human hair, but it curls really, really nicely. And I cut everything myself. I cut my bangs all myself, just from watching YouTube videos. Um, and then I cut the... I cut the hair itself. It was already a shorter length, but I cut it a little bit so that it's longer in the front than the back. Um, you know, I I feel like this is giving me like 1950s housewife tees. Like, <laughs> like you know, it's not really it's not really a bob bob per se. It's not exactly the kind of bob that I wanted, <laughs> but I like it because it looks great in a hat because it's cold now and also it's not too much hair where you feel overpowered I think it's a nice length for a person that's not is just getting into wearing wigs um, because it's not too much so I like this hair um, I would definitely recommend it for a quick weave um, or a wig making uh, not something that you would actually like wear overnight and like as a sew-in I would not ever make this kind of hair a sew-in because I think that it would not last as long you wouldn't really get as much use out of it so for just making a wig I think this hair is really really good for that and like I said it's really really soft and the luster to me is very natural luster it's not too too shiny where it looks like a plastic barbie head hair but it's not um, so matte where it has no sheen at all where it just looks dull so you know I like it this is a wig that I made myself waking your own wigs definitely saves money and I'm all about that so ladies uh you know what I mean I'm not going to do a tutorial because there's a million of them. I watched a whole bunch of wig making tutorials on how to do glue gun wigs, wigs with regular glue, sewings, all that. So definitely 
make your own wig <laughs> because it's way cheaper and to me making a wig is just a therapeutic experience just like doing my nails here are my nails i did a video on this look this is um candy corn nails it was for halloween so if you want to see that i'll put that link down below but yeah this is the premium two hair by sensational i definitely would recommend this hair because it's inexpensive the luster is just right and you can't go wrong with that all right it doesn't shed very much so go pick it up at your local bss and i'll catch you in the next video bye